Flying a kite is something most people remember doing as children. You don't need much after all. A kite, some string, and enough wind to make it fly. In many countries, kites are flown during festivals, celebrations of holy days or to mark the changing of the seasons. None more so than the Indian festival of Makar Sankranti. In a joyous carnival of aerial colour, people of all ages can be seen flying kites from terraces, rooftops and anywhere else they can find. Unlike other Hindu festivals which follow the lunar motion, Makar Sankranti follows the movement of the sun and symbolises the decline of winter and the start of spring. The festival represents a fresh start. I was <laughs> like, I was 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 like, I Flying a kite is easy enough with plenty of space, but in tightly packed communities, the lack of terraces can be problematic, particularly when some buildings don't have flat roofs. People have to learn to climb slanting roofs before being able to fly a kite. When one's skills have been honed in flying a kite, they will then have to improve even more in order to fight with one. Kite fighting is a big deal here and is something of a complex art form. Kite fighting is what makes the Makar Sankranti festival fun and the rules are pretty simple. Two kites tangle, one kite then cuts the other. There are two ways to cut an opponent's kite. One is to pull the thread really quickly across another's line, resulting in enough friction to cut the other's thread. The other way is the release method, where you engage your opponent in a long, drawn-out battle. When your line makes contact with the opponent's, you keep releasing until one of the lines break. Anyone can fight anyone. Success depends on a good kite, a good thread, and the skill of the kite fighter. આપડા ગુજરાતી માં કેવા છે કે તાડી એ ખાતે ના વાગે એવી રીતે પતંગ અને દોરો એક એવું કોમ્પિટિશન છે ને કે જો આપણે બે માંથી કોઈ બી એક વસ્તુ ઓકે ના હોય ને તો આપણે એન્જોય પૂરું એન્જોય ના કરી શકે એને આમાં ત્રણ વસ્તુ ક્લિયર છે એક છે દોરો ત્રણ થી ચાર પ્રકારના દોરા આવે છે અત્યારે કાચી રીલ આવે છે અને એના પછી એ પાકી રીલ કરવામાં આવે છે ધ માંજર ઓ થ્રેડ ઓફ ધ કાઈટ ઇઝ સો ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ ઇન કાઈટ ફાઇટિંગ that local artisans will try anything to ensure their product is both durable and sharp. Coloring the thread is one thing, but the true art comes from blending the right raw materials to make it stand out. Manja to vese hamare dada kara karte the banana. Dada ke baad papa ne kiya, papa ke baad hum kar rahe. Hum log panch bhai hai. Sabse bada bhai tha Jogbar bhai. उसको पतंग का काइट्स का बहुत शौक था और मांझा का भी बहुत यानी लोगों को ऐसे फ्री में तब तो सूट कर देता था उसमें थोड़ा सा चावल और कांच गिरता है और कलर और वो जो हम जो स्पेशली लाते हैं वो तो मोनोकोली है वो हम डालते हैं फेस्टिवल के अंदर लोगों को बड़े पतंग चगाने का बहुत क्रेज है तो कोई अठारह तार भी मंगता है चौबीस तार भी मंगता है दूसरे जो है बैठो बनाया दे दिया हम क्या है गिराक से टाइम लेते हैं क्योंकि उसको सही मांझा बनाकर दे सके इसलिए हम टाइम लेते हैं पतंग तमें ये भी उड़ाओ कि जेठ तमारा हाथ में सूटेबल होए बराबर से कि जेठी करीने 
તમે પતંગને ખેંચ મારો તો તમારા હાથથી એ ખેંચ દોરાને વાગવી જોઈએ તો તમારી પાસે સામેવાળા માણસની પતંગ તમે કાપી શકશો બરાબર છે ये मैं चौदह साल की उम्र से बनाता हूँ मेरे वालिद और उनके वालिद में तीसरी पीढ़ी मेरे घर तो जो हमारे वालिद के टाइम के जो है वो जब से ही आते हैं अभी तक आते हैं वो हमारे सिवा किसी की पतंग उड़ाते नहीं मेरे अंदाजा मैं साढ़े तीस साल इस साल एक लाइन में हूँ और जब से मैं देख रहा हूँ वो घर अभी भी आते हैं कोई बीस साल से आया कोई तीस साल से आया कोई पैंतीस साल से आया कोई चालीस साल से आया ये मेरे ससुर से सब चालू है घर अच्छी पतंग बनाने में पहली बात तो कागज को बराबर फ्रेश रख के काटने का और कमड़ी उसको बराबर लगाने की और अमुक लई में शक्कर लगती है उससे फ्रेश पतंग रहती है पूरी पतंग हमारे घर में ही तैयार होती है हम कोई भी चीज़ बाहर नहीं कराते खास बात यह है कि हम ये कमड़ी को छील के बना दें जो तैयार कलकत्ता से आती है वो बाहर वाले छिलते नहीं हम छिल के लगाते हैं उसमें हमारी पतंग के अंदर जान रहती है चाहता तो हूँ कि मैं तीसरी हूँ तो मेरे बच्चे चौथी पीढ़ी रहे पर वो करे तो ठीक है नहीं करे तो उनकी मर्जी पिताजी का देख देख के मैंने भी ऐसी पतंग बनाई कि आज मैं पूरी ताकत और पूरे उससे कहता हूँ कि मेरी पतंग फेल हो जाए तो मैं पतंग बनाना छोड़ दूँ इतनी मेरे को मेरे कला पे इतना भरोसा है A kite fighter must know that with good thread alone they cannot win. With just a good kite they cannot win. Even the best, most skilled kite fighter alone cannot win. Only with all three elements combined they can cut someone else's kite. Color and commotion engulfs the skies of Gujarat as Makar Sankranti is in full swing. The festival doesn't just attract kite enthusiasts from the region. People from all over the world come here to showcase their aerial skills. When you fly a kite, you, you're, you're free. You're like a bird in the sky. Freedom. Uh, joyful. During flying kites, I can get rid of stress. For for example, stress from work, from from life. I can be only only with my kite. ये त्यौहार ना किसी मज़ब का है, ना किसी इंसान का है. एक एक लास्ट वो बहुत इंसानियत का है. Tucked away in the west of India, the festival is more than just an excuse to fly a kite. It is a celebration of tradition, of community and of friendship. For many, it is the lifeblood that keeps their family businesses going. For others, it's a way to see beautiful far-flung corners of the world. For most, however, it's the chance to kite fight.